Hello, everybody. Today, we have a very, very special guest. He, just after the VD briefing, he kindly agreed to have a, just a short interview. He's the Vice President of Communications for all of Expo 2020. And I'll, I'll let you introduce yourself, uh, Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed Al Ansari, the Vice President of Communications here. And uh, hopefully, your tour guide for what's happening here at the site. Excellent. So now, it's my second day here. I arrived yesterday afternoon. And so today's my first media briefing. So very kind enough that he would avail himself for a short interview. So tell us in your own words, what is Expo 2020 all about? Um, well, thank you, Darren. Welcome, welcome uh, to Expo. And uh, you're here uh, between your friends and family. Uh, and hopefully you will have a great time here and a great experience. Um, well, World Expos are all about celebrating uh, human innovation and creativity. Um, it's the last remaining kind of mega event that's not sports related. Um, so we've got the Olympics, we've got World Cup, we've got a lot of big mega events that are always sports related. This is the only remaining mega event that brings the whole world together, um, not for competition between countries. However, it's more about cooperation between uh, different nations, and countries and cultures. And it's mostly a celebration of human brilliance and creativity and innovation and how best to solve the world's most pressing challenges uh, with innovative ways. That's fantastic. Now, there seems to be main focus of the expo. Yeah. So what are the, is there three main focuses of the expo? And if you could tell us what they are. Yeah, so this World Expo uh, is something different, first of all. I have to say, this is the first time a World Expo comes to our region, um, comes to the Middle East, comes to, and represents uh, for the first time, each and every country has its own pavilion, its own story to share, its own innovation, its own um, uh, creativity and culture that they could share with the rest of the world um, independently. Um, and we have a participation of more than 190 countries, 192 to be specific. Um, it's an amazing gathering of uh, humanity here. Uh, and culture here uh, at the World Expo. Now, uh, the main theme of uh, the Expo 2020 Dubai is uh, connecting uh, people and creating a better future for everyone. And we've dis divided these sub-themes um, to be um, sustainability, so issues uh, regarding sustainability, issues regarding mobility, and issues regarding opportunity. So sustainability is all about how we can better connect with our environment, how we can connect with our future generations, how we can connect with one another. Um, and mobility is also about connecting ideas the flow of ideas, the flow of products, the flow of ourselves and moving from one place to one place, the connection between us and space um, and all about mobility in different angles and opportunity is all about unlocking human potential when we come together and discuss issues together, what greatness can come out of this discussion and uh, conversation. That's fantastic. Now, I know the United Arab Emirates, I understand, has the biggest pavilion at the Expo. So I'm going to be visiting that today. What are some of the things I can expect and that the viewers can expect if they come visiting? Um, well, first of all, what they can expect is that this World Expo has been designed to cater for um, a lot of types of uh, people. So if you're a businessman, this is a great place to be. If you're looking for networking opportunities, you're looking for investment opportunities, then this is going to be a great place to be. If you're a parent, 
looking for an entertaining and educational trip um, that will um, help immerse your child, yourself, um, into the worlds of the different uh, uh, opportunities out there and the different cultures. And this is going to be a great place to come. If you're a designer, um, artist, looking for inspiration, then just going out and looking at the ways the buildings have been uh, created, the world-renowned architects here, um, it, it will give you inspiration on how best to work with space and materials and the future of building. If you're, again, an artist, going around and seeing the different artistic displays of human potential, it's a wonderful uh, experience uh, to be in. If you're a culture enthusiast and you want to learn more about the world, you've got 192 countries participating here. Um, and each with a different, diverse and a great story from their own uh, pavilion. So you've got the world here in one place. If you're looking for entertainment, more than 60 live events per day, from parades to entertainment shows, from songs and poetry. Today we are commemorating the um, one of the famous uh, East poets, uh, Muhammad Abbal. Um, the next day you're going to have another artist from another region. So there's a lot of uh, different uh, uh, entertainment happening here with more than 60 live events uh, per day. If you're a food uh, enthusiast, then this is 100% the place you want to be. More than 200 different uh, cuisines. And of course, there is a fusion of different cultures working together, inspiring new tastes and new culinary experiences that uh, is bringing the Korean with the Italian, the Chinese with the American and the different concepts uh, that we have here. And of course, a lot of Michelin star uh, chefs here. Some uh, also offering chances where you have a chance to learn on the best ways to cook and the collaboration between different cultures. So there's a lot of opportunities for that angle as well. Uh, going out, I had my first, uh, my first ever uh, uh, food experience in trying to cook or bake uh, some food. Um, it didn't go very well. Uh, <laughs> however, it was an experience and now I'm interested to see how different also cultures work with bread differently. So, so, uh, uh, but I'm much more interested in now tasting rather than doing <laughs> <laughs> the first time. But again, there is a lot of different experiences out there. There is something for everyone. And the sad thing is it, it's only happening for six months. It's going to end in April. Uh, and we would love to have uh, as many people, as much engagement as possible. Um, we've missed that during the year that went by to today, seeing everyone, different cultures, different languages coming here and physically engaging with uh, one another. It, it's an experience that we would uh, love to continue. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Now, Dubai is fully open. It was very easy to come here. So it is family friendly friendly it's accessible uh it's very uh, very easy to get here either by taxi uh, private car or metro train so it's very good uh, now you being kind of like the expert is i know it may be difficult but is there some things that you'd recommend they must do because you can spend a day you can spend maybe a month yep here as well, there's so much to see, but it's very clean, very easy to get around. Uh, but is there some things you say you must check out when you're here? Yes, and I would say you must check out the website. <laughs> 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 che 
check out our website plan your journey make sure you know what's going on in the site there is a lot going on and it's different for the different tastes if you're looking for networking and business then it's easier to navigate if you go through the site and understand what's happening um, but if you're family oriented um, there are a lot of family friendly pavilions that are truly engaging and educational um, angle and there are the other pavilions that are quite high tech and high investment where you might not want to um, spend a lot of time in um, so for for the different um, visitor uh, the most important thing is to visit our website plan your trip uh, in the best way possible make the best use out of that first trip and I'm sure that you are going to plan um, other days as well and for the viewers can you tell us the website ah yes <laughs> uh, so it's www.expo2020.ae there you go that's there you go guys so I personally would very much like to thank you for oh, your thank time you. You're so gracious. You're very good. Like off the top of his head, he wasn't planned. But he's after media conference. He's just he's a pile of information. Just beautiful. I would like to thank you so much for your time. I thank look you. forward to my visit here. And uh, you guys, please visit the website. If you have the opportunity, please come to Dubai. They're open. It's they're ready, and it's going to be a great time. So stay tuned for more. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Excellent.